my name is uh, Linda Jancová, and it is my pleasure to welcome you here to the National Library of the Czech Republic. Uh, today uh, we'll spend some uh, 90 minutes or so speaking about uh, opening our data, about our collaboration with Wikidata or other Wikimedia projects, and I hope that you will all uh, enjoy uh, this, this meeting. Uh, it has been organized by the National Library of the Czech Republic together with the Media Czech Republic and the Association of Library and Information Professionals of the Czech Republic, especially its Prague uh, chapter. So, without further ado, uh, it is my pleasure to introduce you to the Director General uh, of the National Library of the Czech Republic, Tomáš Volky, who will deliver a short welcome address. So, good morning, Ross. Yeah, thank you so much. the GAM experts, the Wikipedias, Wikimedias, and other staff experience in open data and such a interesting areas. I would like to welcome you on behalf of the Czech National Library in this beautiful area, our beautiful premises in Clementino, in the city center of Prague. Uh, Clementino is the heart of education for more than 700 years, and I strongly believe you will enjoy this experience. And I hope that you enjoyed the first uh, part of today. It was a uh, guided tour on the, the Baroque Library and uh, in, uh, the Aston with the Tower. So that's a good impression. And maybe we choose this partly small room also for the experience because then you will be feeling hardly boring. I don't expect it. You have just to turn around and you will see Charles Bridge, one of the magnificent part of the Middle Ages architecture in, in Prague, so that's why we organized this event here. I was asked to address a few opening calls to you, and I was thinking what to say. I would like to say that uh, the cooperation among uh, galleries, libraries, archives, and museums in Czech Republic is pretty common for more than 10 15 years. There are a few good examples. Some of them will be discussed to you soon, but some of them not. I would like to mention especially the conference called Archives, Museum, Libraries in the Digital Age. It is organized for more than 20 years and many experts across the Czech Republic, sometimes from Czechoslovakia, are coming together and discuss the topics about possible cooperation, about interesting digitization projects, about the way how uh, to uh, prepare data content uh, for the researchers, for the data scientists, for the humanists, and I think it's a good experience to come and see how the situation in uh, this sector is running in Czech Republic. Of course, there are more activities. Some of them were organized by European. And in the past, I was also involved in some GAM activities funded by European. There are some conferences, including tech conferences. Uh, there are some guidelines, some methodologies, and some support from European how to work with the, within the GAM sector. And I think this wonderful meeting is one of the Integrate, integrated part of such a cooperation because I think the cooperation of the GAM sector means get to get people to, to together and talk together and share the experience and that's why you are here. And maybe the last uh, remark of the uh, fruitful cooperation inside of the GAM sector in Czech Republic, you can see the program and enjoy it. <laughs> is uh, the cooperation in the digitization itself because I don't know if you are familiar with this but uh, the digitization activities in Czech Republic started in the uh, early 90s of the last century so we are more than 30 years after the running digitization project and from the early beginning to the digitization projects for example to the manuscript project and for the old pins and manuscript digitization but step by step also with the modern collection digitization there are many institutions from the museums archives and uh, galleries involved. There is some special funding from the Ministry of Culture where every single public library can get the funding for the digitization but the <coughs> institution are digitized their content because they want and I think it's uh, the biggest step for the future. We have a lot of digitized collections, we can work with them and up to you is to connect such a data in open mode if it's possible to uh, general public because we are not scanning for our own purposes. We are scanning these documents for them, and they are responsible. Mm -hmm. So I wish you a very good meeting. I strongly believe you enjoy the whole state in Prague, because it's my city. 
and still you believe you will learn something uh, from the experience of my colleagues. Many of them are working in the mission library and they are very clever, they are nice. So please, after every single presentation, I assume you will be giving <laughs> So enjoy. Uh, 
region, you have some link uh, because uh, uh, the summary of this strategy is in English too. Uh, how we share our data? Uh, with some uh, project uh, without any license. For example, we have a Czech national project, uh, uh, in uh, With some international project, for example, we have, uh, we have uh, OBC attribution license. Uh, with uh, Wikidata, we have uh, license CC0. With Europeana CC02. Uh, with Exlibris, we have contact. And uh, with Google, we have any license, but uh, we share our data. Uh, and uh, cooperation between uh, National Library and uh, Wikimedia Czech Republic is, uh, I think it's very good and uh, long and uh, successful cooperation. And we have uh, some key projects. From uh, 2006, uh, we have collaboration with uh, Czech Wikipedia on linking authority records with uh, Wikipedia records. From 2014, we have collaboration in the field of education of libraries and library users. Uh, in uh, 2018, uh, we had a pilot project to make our terminological database available as linked data. And 2019, uh, project to make our national name authority database available as linked data. And from uh, two. 2020, uh, we have follow up projects dealing with authority data, imports of authority files to Wikidata, and uh, monitoring queries, increment tables on Wikipedia with weekly additions to the authority database. Uh, Wikibase uh, is containing authority data. Uh, together, we organize uh, a lot of uh, various uh, workshops and seminars. Uh, also, with the cooperation uh, with the Association of Library and Information Professionals of the Czech Republic. Uh, for example, uh, Wikidata for librarians, uh, biblio workshop linking name authorities with Wikipedia and Wikidata. Uh, a panel discussion on free licenses and run, linking uh, authorities and Wikidata and others and others. Uh, how to start opening data? It's necessary to address various questions and concerns. The most common ones are if it's not mandatory, why should we do it? Uh, someone steals our data and we lose them. Who would be interested in our data? We don't have the money, we don't have the people. Metadata is our wealth, therefore we cannot give it to other organizations, especially those from the commercial sector. It's our family soul, so we only display it but not make it freely available. And uh, why are the databases really our primary server? Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of Do our permission, uh, now we have uh, three open data sets. Check national bibliography. Czech National Authority Database and the uh, Directory of Libraries and Information Centers in the Czech Republic. Uh, there are in a uh, marked similar format. They are updated weekly, uh, but it's not enough. 
Um, there is also interest in other databases and other models. Uh, when we find our, our open data sets, uh, we have uh, on our web, we have a page, and now we have uh, the page in English too. So if you want uh, some data sets, you can uh, download them. Uh, Czech National Bibliography, I think, is the most important uh, database in National Library. And this database includes uh, bibliographic records of documents published in the Czech Republic. And uh, uh, in this database, uh, there are more than one million uh, bibliographic records. Uh, a central report, it looks like. Uh, I think that you know some uh, Alan Kopak. And uh, we, uh, we cataloged uh, this database uh, to the Czech National Open Data Catalog. So now we have uh, a report in this catalog. And uh, our uh, Czech National Open Data Catalog is it's connect with uh, uh, data uh, data European catalog. So now we have uh, our record uh, in this catalog too. Uh, we have a uh, record uh, for uh, in the national uh, Czech open catalog only for uh, Czech national bibliography. Uh, because uh, you you need to fill a uh, very long formulaire and uh, uh, we still don't have time uh, to fill for other databases but I think that uh, we will do it uh, uh, during uh, the autumn. Authority database of the National Library of the Czech Republic uh, contains name and subject authority records. For example, personal and corporate name authorities, title authorities, geographic authorities, etc. And uh, included more than one million records. And uh, this is sample. Uh, in uh, this uh, record, you can see some link to Wikipedia, uh, Wikidata, ISNI, and ABBA. And it's possible due to uh, encoding uh, to, to get the uh, data from Wikidata based on authority identifier. And the last is the uh, database of libraries and information centers in the Czech Republic. It's the directory of Czech libraries with uh, contact details and information on services provided and uh, contains more than uh, 8,000 uh, reports. And uh, now we plan a workshop together with uh, Wikimedia and Czech Republic uh, focused uh, on importing key data from the source to Wikidata. And uh, you can see a call, for example, in Portal, you know, in it looks better uh, than in the other Opac. Our future plans uh, with, and in our collaboration with uh, Wikidata, we want to continue linking Wikidata items to our entities via identifiers and adding more and more data from our reports in the open data sets. And <coughs> general, moving from uh, general to specific data and continue implementing projects and organizing workshops, editathons uh, to involve more librarians in using and creating the data. And the past, to optional data access will probably always be challenging both for the National Library 
of the Czech Republic and for the entire public sector. Uh, after all, ambiguities uh, related to opening data also exist at the uh, legislative level. And uh, however, uh, open data represents a clear path that libraries and other cultural institutions should take to engage in the digital world as much as, as possible. And now I can finish, and as you see, uh, we are uh, deeply interested. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
really deep, then uh, we can say that uh, it is uh, possible that they will get in touch with us because uh, if they dig deep into the data, they may need some guidance mm -hmm. how to understand it. Because I, I don't know uh, how many of you have heard uh, about Mark XML format uh, before, like us presentation. <laughs> how many of you? <laughs> Not many. Wow, <laughs> it's quite a lot. But, but nevertheless, it's some uh, ten or twenty percent. <laughs> So, uh, you know, so it's, it's not a lot and it's, it's really um, a format uh, which is uh, difficult for understand uh, to do uh, uh, for just about everyone, not being the librarian, so. <laughs> okay, yeah? Uh, when you meet with National Library colleagues around Europe, uh, do you compare notes on, on how much you have done and would you say you are ahead in the middle or, or lagging compared to other European countries? Uh, well, it depends on which country we would uh, compare to. There are countries that, that are very advanced. Uh, uh, if we don't take into account just Europe, then you have the Library of Congress, which is basically the National Library of the United States of America. And you also have libraries like the British Library, which also, also has uh, plenty of open data. But then you, you also have some libraries which uh, have not started yet uh, and uh, some of them uh, maybe even have difficulties understanding what open data is. Uh, actually this spring we conducted a little survey uh, trying to uh, find out uh, how other libraries are, are doing uh, in this area. <coughs> Uh, and uh, we, we, will, uh, we will prepare a paper or an article uh, detailing, detailing the results. Uh, the thing is that actually if uh, the library uh, does not translate uh, its web page they dedicated to uh, open data uh, into English or some other widely, uh, uh, widely used language, it may be really difficult to find it because uh, that they don't even uh, you, they, they, they may not even use the term open data. They they, they call it like open collections, whatever. <laughs> but it's very difficult to uh, to locate it, locate it. So it's, it's I think it's better to, to simply ask <laughs> and see see uh, what happens. Yes. Hi. I've uh, got a question for my colleagues who are in space engineers. Mm -hmm. I'm just to put you a sentence. <laughs> so we're very curious to hear about the Wikibase experience. Um, how many items do you have on the Wikibase and how do you set it up and whether you uh, have any you know, technical resources or you know, you uh, If you mean the Wikibase yes. instance uh, authority or authority Wikimedia uh, CC, uh, okay. then uh, uh, we have uh, our uh, personal authorities in that, in that uh, Wikibase, I think. Uh, Petra would, would know more about it. Uh, and I, I don't know how many, I, I think it's uh, nearly a million? I don't know. There is a million of records, but I'm not sure if all set is in this way, but it's, um, but it's about this, it's this about number, six, right? It's about 600 or so. Mm -hmm. And it, it is in process, so the number is in process. Yeah. And we have actually collaborated with Wikimedia Czech Republic because we thought that they would know a lot about, about the Media Wiki and uh, uh, the Wikibase uh, extension uh, so that uh, they, they actually uh, run it on their uh, servers and we, we provide, provide the data. Uh, there is a, a small group of people working on it from uh, Wikimedia Czech Republic and Mission Library. So, and, uh, like I mentioned, some, some projects, ongoing projects uh, that that uh, built upon uh, upon these uh, these preliminary efforts to to turn uh, to turn our data into linked open data. Yes. So it's 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 in the process. Yeah. Okay, uh, so, so let me just make sure I'm really right. Mm -hmm. um, we give me the Czech Republic. We have a set of key based instance, and it is on the other mm -hmm. or on your server. It's on theirs. Oh, on theirs. Yeah. Then you provide them with the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. They are great at making the actual. Because even our engineers have looked at it and they say that it's modeled very nicely. Yeah, but as well, like well well, like National yeah. Library, like provided this uh, resources mm -hmm. from their own project. Right. Okay. And like they 
thanks to Linda and Petrazi, like did this amazing job with like setting all the project and think about how to like link the data properly and how to like manage all the like up, uh, like people it looks. Mm -hmm. And and Blanca as like um, she did like amazing job with the negotiation. It's <laughs> worse. <laughs> no, I mean, but it's true because like Czech Minister of Culture wasn't supportive in any way like uh, before, and uh, her like as the experts from the other libraries as well like really going and going there, and uh, like CC zero licensing was like totally <laughs> her. Uh, her job because otherwise there nothing would be happened actually and all the other libraries would be lost without information if they can share or not because this was like su such a great zone before like the like really like push this it's like last wow. year I think yeah, the CC0 yeah. it was like a huge thing for us and just thanks to like their expertise and their like their their old job that really was like step by step and, and done there and and as Linda is like our member and as Petra they all like managed to hear inside like National Library and then continuing it's like you see uh, it's like um, it's been, like many years preparation and as well we could then pay our our people for all the time they have spent like on the technical side of the project so this was like the thing that like that this is all like behind the, the scene and the, like the, this like big um, like uploads and like the the, the object that uh, national library is uh, Yeah, wonderful. Um, the one from Wikimedia Deutschland and mm -hmm. our lead engineer has taken a look at it and he said it's very small and very nicely. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs>
And as well, if I can just add that um, exactly like there are like the different kinds of institutions, like for example, who is like uh, regional, mm -hmm. and then it depends on their own um, like um, like like uh, uh, like responsibilities to the to their like organizer. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we do have uh, like similar kind of uh, cooperation with the regional museum, one of the 14 that we have in Czech Republic because we have 14 regions. And I think what depends then is as well like um, what's the vision of the director, how how is like his vision with, with the institution that he's like leading. Because there are much more like open institution than the other than the others, and as our capacity is limited, we are now negotiating like, or like just cooperating with these one who are uh, very open. Like it's like a, a <coughs> regional museum in like Eastern Bohemia, which is like in the citizen in the center of Czech Republic, and we are preparing the same thing, but it's been like a while maybe. I'll talk about it later, but it's uh, it's uh, taking uh, we are taking like twelve like almost a year just to clear up the database to be able to upload it because it's not complete. It can't be like transferred this way because otherwise it would ruin like the data. So this is something we are like heading like so and what helps a lot are like different conferences and those like librarians and the others because they can share good practice. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, this is something that, that this is the phase. And as well, what Linda mentioned, I think makes uh, lots of sense. We are hiring our first advocacy coordinator, who we hope he will be the one who help us publish this like good practices amongst. Uh, the other institution in Czech Republic because we need someone who is more focused on this topic and who can spread like the information that means how to. Mm -hmm. So we will cooperate with our partner who will be the link and this will be his job to do amongst the institution because this like um, uh, knowledge gap I would yeah. say mm -hmm. the like of uh, experiences to share like the, like, the, the missing parts is the crucial part we need to fill in now. Mm -hmm. So we will be focusing on this like next year mm -hmm. uh, because this uh, this is something that because Eva Bell spoke about like uh, uh, open collections uh, in a, in a few minutes. So you will and this is the other part of the puzzle as well for me. So you will maybe uh, can can see. We also we also organize this like I said um, plenty of workshops, hands-on workshops with Wikidata, etc. So that librarians uh, really know what Wikidata is and are not afraid that it's just some sort of system that only computers understand. So <laughs> that's that may be also uh, helpful because they will see uh, you know uh, if you compare uh, the authority record we create say on. Chapek, whoever, and then you compare it to uh, Wikidata item on Karel Chapek, then you see that our record is like this, and the Wikidata one is like this. <laughs> so it's pretty impressive, and maybe you were pursuing. Okay, so, okay, yeah. Uh, if I may just interfere a bit your librarian discussion uh, to comment uh, uh, the discussion which, uh, which was uh, now uh, here. I'm here on the base of uh, local authority uh, and you have to say that we are really very much interested in what's going on, uh, not only in libraries because we are founders of libraries, museums, the one you, you have mentioned, uh, the Museum of Hrvats uh, and galleries and it's a question of uh, for us uh, that it's like opening, opening and it's really uh, not only trendy uh, to, to be in, but uh, but to really address uh, uh, all the questions around. Uh, but I uh, but I guess uh, it's uh, not a question for all the authorities around the Czech Republic because it's so much you have to to solve and done and and so on. But uh, definitely it it worth on uh, cooperation, closer cooperation. 
to uh, to spread information, to do the workshops and uh, and so on, and they need to focus on the uh, local authorities as well, mm -hmm. because it's really a question, and not only libraries but also museums and uh, and galleries and so on. And I, I think it's always like the best practice because you can like spread the information in the like uh, uh, local authorities probably uh, much in a much better way than we are because. Uh, this is like the way how it works, right? Like libraries talk to libraries and disabilities, yeah. like share the group because you know each other, you met. So like the best practice, uh, like catching up the best practice, I think is the phase where we are now. And mm -hmm. like, uh, uh, so, yeah. Yes? Uh, can I have an idea of the human resources involvement in, uh, it's possible, in the, in the project of the, um, that putting on on Wikibytes on Wikibytes. What from well, the National Library and the Wikimedia check? Uh, it's, I think it's a very hard question actually uh, because uh, it's not just a single project. Uh, well, from the administrative point of view, it's not just a single project. It's a series of projects, and some work is done not uh, you know as a project but as usual work. <laughs> so uh, I don't know maybe Petra. Have an idea because it's based on our uh, usual practice of making a authority record. So the data are preparing for another purpose, but it's used for the, this wiki base as a uh, just a part of the report to be uh, done as a uh, base of uh, our uh, wiki data data uh, items. So. We do our work and it's based on a, a side of uh, colleagues from Wiki, Wikimedia to the public to uh, transfer this data, uh, just the part of it, to the uh, Wikibase um, uh, proposals. It's done voluntarily or by staff? By staff. By staff. But, but, but there are also some, some automatic uh, works, but I'm not sure about uh, the amount, so we have to ask. Yeah, it's like it was it's two people on our site and uh, one was like our part of the work was like done uh, under like the contract uh, of the of the project of, of uh, National Library. It was some roughly like hundred hours. It was like the second part of the national authorities and this like linked system as well. They've been before co work with like um, technical uh, technical university on this system or like um, um, of like the linked pipes system. It's like very technical and they somehow like uh, could be able to do like this backward system thanks to them. And the rest of the work is volunteers. So, like with that and Fred, even though both uh, uh, one of them was paid for like making all this like massive system uh, like going as like a Wikidata expert and as well like a tech person, uh, with that did most of the work like voluntarily in years. Like it's like it, it's like massive contribution to that even like. Most of the negotiation, I was like just in a part of that, but he did uh, like all this job, and it's, uh, it's like one job. So from the part, the part of the National Library, it was all these all work, not not dedicated stuff. I think it's, um, but they are still I think, yeah, having a part of your job, like mm -hmm. devoting to the cooperation with Wikimedia, let's say, or just with uploading the data, and I think there was. Well, it's like something covered by the project, but it was like it, it, it was some specific part mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. all of project. this. Yeah. So we are like, um, yeah. So like, this is how it's on our side. I have a comment actually. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's more like a comment on what has been mentioned. Um, now we know that one of the new um, ways of doing projects like this is crowdsourcing. Did you think about using crowdsourcing as one of the ways to... Uh, uh, I think that is what happens when, when Wikidata is, uh, <laughs> is covered here, because uh, I, I don't know how many Wikidata uh, editors uh, are out there, but, uh, but many of them actually, all, uh, all over the world. And uh, so, uh, for example, uh, uh, 
uh, matching and merging items uh, can be done just uh, by people from the Czech Republic, but from Wikidata editors from, from wherever. So. <laughs> and no, I, I mean, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I know what you mean, but at yeah. the end of the day, I think the finances is not a problem. The human capacity is the yeah. problem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't yeah. have people. Yes. We don't have much, and we, we won't clone Linda or Lenka to, like, <laughs> have more time to do that. So like I don't think like that at the end of the day the, the financing of this work is the it's the trouble but it's like the devoted librarians on one side. Yeah. And Wikidata people or like tech people on the other side. Mm -hmm. So even if we have like, money enough, mm -hmm. we won't have people you enough still at this people, point. Yeah, so yeah. like the training what, what we mentioned is there. It's much more important on this, uh, mm -hmm. at, at, at least from my point of view, in this phase, yeah. to like train people and librarians in the republic because there always is someone who's like who who, who find a passion in, in it, and yeah. we need these people. Yeah. And actually, my second comment is also related to the data as part of this partnership. Who dictates the format of data? Is it Wikipedia, Wikimedia, or this is already the format that you have, that you hand, you hand over to them and then they will manipulate it. Uh, I think that Vojta and Irka have been brave enough to learn Mark XML. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, although uh, from time to time they, they seem to be surprised what librarians have decided to, to put in their format, but <laughs> uh, uh, actually uh, libraries as such uh, uh, would probably uh, maybe a decade, two decades from now, will will uh, move to uh, using uh, link data uh, as mm -hmm. their data storage. Uh, it's a long it's a long way, <laughs> but uh, in my view, it seems inevitable because uh, uh, RDF tables are are the, the you know the common ground for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, it is it is a format that can be used by. Uh, any claim or any other institution. So, um, but it takes time because we use uh, we use legacy systems, we use some new systems, and uh, some of them are capable of producing uh, linked open data. Some of them are uh, some of them are not, yeah. and so uh, there is some some work <laughs> to be done. Uh, obviously, it's it's also very difficult. Uh, uh, or very, uh, it, it's not easy to have enough computing power uh, to, to do that because uh, the dumps are okay. It's just a dump, and that's it. But uh, if we speak uh, speak about uh, uh, Sparkle queries uh, and etc., uh, then uh, we, we, uh, 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 we mentioned with our uh, Wikibase instance for authority data. Uh, we, um, in the beginning, we actually. Uh, considered a uh, Sparkle endpoint, but uh, later we uh, had to decide against it uh, because uh, the computer power needed to, to, to make it work uh, would be rather huge and uh, there wasn't enough uh, money and <laughs> computing power to, to, to really do that. So uh, this may also require some, some changes in, in processes, upgrading hardware, etc. So it's a long way. <laughs> Yeah, I'm from Finland, where uh, the Finnish National Library has also experimented with the uh, Wikibase. And I'm uh, interested to know if you communicate between libraries on these Wikibase issues, because this would be somehow very valuable. Maybe at some points where they are doubtful of their path, or whether they have some experience that they can share, and then again share with the Wikibase people. So, so are you? Um, yeah, I think that's uh, definitely a good idea. We actually started uh, with the survey that I mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe we, we can work on something in the future. Uh, uh, before uh, we do anything, we usually look around what others have done, with yeah. <laughs> yeah. what success, <laughs> and then decide uh, what, what the right uh, path uh, for us would be. Uh, we actually started back in uh, 2018, uh, with a project in which we linked our uh, term in, uh, ter terms from our terminology database to uh, to Wikidata items, uh, uh, because it was the easiest way to start. Uh, uh, 
we didn't have to install anything, uh, take care of it over time, etc. So uh, these are all, all issues that uh, can can emerge once mm -hmm. once you uh, uh, dive deep into uh, what uh, what the project requires. So, so uh, well, I kind of hope that uh, we don't have any more questions <laughs> because we also have some more presentations coming. <laughs> so. Uh, we can continue later uh, when, when the networking uh, takes place. Uh, so now it is my pleasure uh, to introduce uh, Adolf Knoll, uh, who is Deputy Director uh, for uh, Research and Development here at uh, the National Library of the Czech Republic. And uh, he will speak about our digital project. So Adolf, please. Thank you. 
flow here in 1995 This was very interesting because uh, theoretically we knew or we read about it that it's good to use the Hessian language for this data to connect between data and images at that time and the descriptive metadata. But practically we, we didn't find anybody to do it in practice. So we decided to do it in practice. And in 96 we had our first uh, format of this compound digital document consisting of data and data based on the digital language. So it was before, before uh, XML, you know now, was here. It uh, was not born at that time. Mm -hmm. It was born much, much later. Uh, our approach was recommended by UNESCO at that time in 1999 for digitization of uh, documents uh, in this program. And in 2003, we created, we moved from the first formats for digitized documents to the second generation of formats for digitized documents. And that's already the time when XML was here. And we started to implement it. And we started also implementing like XML language for all documents. And we launched two digital libraries we have now in 2003. One is called Camerius. It is uh, the digital library for periodicals and modern monographs. Modern monograph is everything published after 1800. And the other one is manuscript only. It's for manuscripts, material uh, manuscripts, and uh, old printed books. And we have them until today. I will concentrate on manuscriptorium because it could be interesting for you uh, for, for this problem of sharing data. Uh, today, manuscriptorium is developed as a, an aggregation service, not only the presentation tool for our digitization input and the digitization input of other check institutions. It's also an international aggregation service, and today it's a certified aggregator for European uh, international aggregator uh, for European. Uh, from its beginning, so 2003, it is one place for all digitization and historical documents to be checked in the we realized that there are many documents, similar documents, because in time the collections of libraries had been taken, spread, moved around Europe, around the world, that it would be nice to recreate these collections in this one place. So we were looking for partners with whom to cooperate, and in around 2015, we started in the work that was about serious success of, uh, of to data from different resources. It was not done so that all the data are taken or were taken here. It was it were they were taken for you dynamically on the fly from partner institutions so that you can work on one place. The first institution I started to cooperate with this on this principle was the University of Library in Portsmouth in Poland. Uh, what was difficult? It was not so difficult to transform or convert the descriptive data. The most difficult part was to transform and convert into a homogeneous form of the structure of the document in order to be able to navigate in the document from pages to browsers and so on because uh, institutions were using different systems. It was easy there where for these old documents institutions for digital were using the TI, the SGI 
share on the it was very easy. But then when I can use library information systems connected with some outside digital data, it was more difficult. Uh, we had some projects at this time, and today we have uh, more than 130 institutions aboard. Different quality, some of them are uh, descriptive data, some of them are fully cooperating on this principle. So it's unequal. You can see it works. I don't see. You cannot see cooking. Okay. I see some things that you can't see. These institutions are different because the common type of the document is manuscript, alternative books, or historical documents. So these are not only libraries, national libraries, public libraries, uh, university libraries, but these are also libraries from museums, libraries from archives, libraries from uh, say church institutions. We have about uh, several church monastery libraries. These are libraries from castles, uh, from foundations, uh, from different foundations around the world. So we have, for example, it could be interesting, an Icelandic foundation on board, and many things like this. So we are cooperating across the domain, but it is about one type or two types of uh, documents. You can see the number of data. We also uh, share a joint catalog for them, so we have almost 400,000 records. We have 167 and something fully digitized documents. That means around 15 million digitized pages of written digital This is about primary and public access to data. For the Czech Republic, this is a primary access for about 60, 65 institutions from the Czech Republic that are digitizing historical documents. For foreign institutions, this is a kind of reuse. Mm -hmm. So you can go, let's say, to the National Library of Portugal, or you can go to Manuscript or you and see the same thing. Uh, this is very important because we provide some tools with, whom, with which the users can work over all these data that are, that are aggregated here. We provide access for this data through your program. I will show you how. And we are also being met by some world services some and EBSCO and so on, with research EBSCO, uh, usage also of manuscript or metadata. And there are also other interested workers we are cooperating with this. So, so, so for a small regional museum, for example, and we have many small regional museums support, we are a good gateway how to go further, how to go to Europe, how to go to, to some very special services. And it's not only for the small Czech institutions. We have also many small, many small foreign institutions that can use the service of ours. Uh, which are the opportunities to share our data? We have a lot of tools for personalization. So if you are our user, then anybody can our user. You can create your own account in the digital library and when this account is created, you can create your own collections. These collections can consist of documents from any institution that's on board. They can, create, they can consist of individual <coughs> pages from any document from this 50 million that are digitized, so you can create your own book for say, teaching purposes. And you are not interested as user that this page is from Prague, 
this page is from Spain, this page is from Poland, and so on, because it behaves like it is in a one part of place. So this is our service to, to provide you with this, uh, with this uh, possibility. Uh, let, uh, we, we started earlier than the triple I had. I don't know whether you know what's triple I had. International image interchange format. Mm -hmm. uh, so we started earlier, then Triple was created. Uh, but Triple IR gives us other possibilities, other opportunities. So we implemented it so we can use Triple IR to take data from Triple IR enabled partners. Mm -hmm. So we did a test with the National Library of Finland, so it's quite possible. And we provide data which by a triple So when you go to Europe, when I, when I click, I will see, you won't see it. <laughs> when you go to Europe, for example, for this presentation, you will see other landscape. But you will browse in Europe, but the data will be coming from here. Yes. You can even use triple IF or, or technology just to point to a single page. And this, when you decide, this is a permanent address, and you can use this address to point to this page from your work, let's say. You can even crop from this page something, an image, an illumination, a text, and this is given a permanent address. And you can use it in your application, in your article, anywhere you wish. So this is, this is possible from our services. You can take, of course, your image, our image, or your own use, because Everything is free. Everything is under uh, this license, so you can you can modify, it, you can create, and so on for non-commercial use. But you have to say it's from us. We have a slightly different license that's almost the same because we have a Google project, and uh, it depends on. Each library that cooperated with Google, what's possible, what's not. In principle, it's possible everything for non-commercial use. With one slight difference that's concerning us, not you, that uh, for 15 years from digitization, it's not possible to give the digitized output from Google to other digital library. So primary access should be from here. The question is about triple IF because, because uh, when you are in Europe and are browsing a Google digitized document from us, this access is given by Europe but it's also given by our data bank. So this is the question and that's why we have this slightly modified uh, slightly modified Many people will see a uh, slightly modified statement uh, that was recommended by Europe because uh, that link is that changes. It's almost as same. for users, it's almost the same. Do what you wish. Uh, there are plenty. What's, what's also necessary for the right statement? The right statement should be respected. So, and it is inherited. So, we have agreements with all the partner libraries so that everything is free. And when you look, I cannot show you here, when you look at Manuscriptorium and Europeana on the same document, it's possible because you can navigate from Europeana to Manuscriptorium, you will see the direct statement in the same. Uh, there are plenty of other possibilities to reuse uh, the data from the manuscriptorium that 
and as it is done in faith more frequently your own work. Uh, what we do now, we concentrate a lot on industrial uh, role, and we concentrate a lot on crowdsourcing possibilities because we have limited forces and we would like to engage more users, more people to help us with, uh, with enrichment of our data because these documents, these documents are old and maybe we don't know everything about them and some people know. So we would like to involve more people but it's difficult because when you create this high level let's say tools that enables you to create let's say exhibitions we have such tools annotations and, and so on it requires also from you to learn something so it's difficult but you can do it for yourself in your space you can share it with you with your friends so it's on the decision of any user if he will use Manuscript volume as a cooperating digital library, or if he will take the data, it's possible for manuscript volume and place the image or something directly to the web page in Wikipedia. Now, this was shorter than the former presentation. I want to just show you <coughs> that uh, we have a lot of data, and this data can be widely used. going to grow and grow and grow, so please use them. Thank you. I will be speaking about a conference series which is entitled Archives, Libraries, Museums in the Digital World. Uh, it is actually a series that started in the year 2000. Uh, so actually, we happen to be about a month and a half older than Wikipedia, <laughs> which is very good to, to hear, I, I think. Um, uh, this year, we will have our uh, 23rd conference already. And uh, so you can see that uh, in the meantime, uh, other important things happened, uh, like uh, Wikidata was launched in uh, 2012, etc. Uh, this conference uh, started as a uh, one-day event, uh, so the first four years uh, it was just a one-day event, and since then uh, it has evolved into a uh, longer, longer event. It usually takes uh, three days, and uh, the only exception was in 2019 when uh, we had to switch uh, to, to the uh, virtual, and so it was just a one-day event, uh, and uh, in uh, 2018 uh, there was an extra workshop or seminar, so, so uh, it took, uh, took a bit uh, longer. Uh, this year we hope for a two-day in-person event, but we shall see. Uh, uh, this is a conference uh, which is organized uh, by uh, the Association of Library and Information Professionals of the Czech Republic and uh, mostly it is uh, in collaboration with uh, other partners, especially the National Archives, formerly called State Central Archives uh, back in those years, uh, also with the uh, National Library and over time some, some more partners uh, were, were involved in organizing it. Uh, so you can see that uh, it is really a conference that is of interest uh, to, to quite a number of lab institutions uh, from, from the Czech, Czech Republic. Uh, as to the number of people who take part, uh, originally uh, for the first years uh, uh, about 100, 100 people came and now we have about 300 people uh, coming to, to attend the conference and when it's online uh, this number uh, can even double so <laughs> that may be a, a little incentive for doing things online rather than in person. Uh, the conference is financially supported by the Ministry of Culture and also participants pay a small fee uh, 
uh, when it's an uh, in-person event and those online events uh, were, were free to attend. So now you have, you have heard uh, how many conferences we've had. So there is a question for you. Can you guess how many lectures have been delivered in the conference series so far? Come on, let's try. We started in the year 2000. 100 now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> 650. Who <laughs> said 600? I know it. You will receive a little something from the club. <laughs> uh, it was about 576. Okay. So, you are close this one. Okay. So it's a huge event, you can see. Uh, I have also analyzed uh, um, how many, how many uh, authors uh, with a larger number of contributions we've had. And it is actually great that uh, the winner, Alex Borosiek, is here. <laughs> libraries uh, are represented. Uh, those uh, those uh, <coughs> institutions with, without a library or museum, these are uh, commercial company, companies <coughs> providing services to libraries, museums, and archives such as Cosmodrome or uh, AIP. Uh, so these are some, some more, uh, some more uh, authors. Uh, you can see some of them are from the National Library of Czech Republic also. Um, and you know that we have some speakers here today. Uh, we won't have Eva, but pretend she's here. <laughs> and so my uh, second question is, uh, who do you think are the most active speakers that spoke at the conferences? And there are new bills today. <laughs> and have prepared a lecture. So, who do you think would win? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's try. Adolf is the correct answer. <laughs> so, so, who said it as yeah. the first one? Yeah. Who's the first one to have said Adolf? I heard it from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if, they, if someone mentioned Tomasz Volti, they have the same, same number of contributions as first authors, and their number is six. Okay. <laughs> so, let's proceed. Uh, uh, we also, uh, I have also analyzed the data from uh, a different point of view, from from the point of view of the most active institutions. So it is great to, uh, to find out that the National Library is, is, is the most active institution, uh, followed by the Moravian Library, also by the Ministry of Culture, because uh, it usually delivers, they, people from the Ministry of Culture usually deliver presentations that are, uh, that are um, relevant for uh, all of institutions, uh, like presentations on copyright, but I don't say any more about it now, uh, and, and stuff like that. Uh, we have also uh, quite, uh, quite a number of contributions from Charles University from different different parts of it, especially from, from its archives, libraries, etc. Also from Academy of Sciences Library, from the National Archives. Um, so the same, the same applies here. Uh, also, maybe uh, of interest, maybe uh, there is a special methodological center for information technologies and museology, which is part of the uh, Moravian Museum, and they also also uh, come come a lot to to present what's what they're doing. Uh, 
the, the, the more, more information about the conference can be uh, can be found on our uh, website. Uh, most of it is in Czech only, but um, uh, some some of the conferences uh, in where uh, we had also foreign speakers. Uh, there, there are some uh, some more details in English, and we also have some some uh, recordings uh, available on. Uh, and this is my final question for you today. How many presentations have been delivered by speakers representing Wikimedia Czech Republic so far? <laughs> Twenty. Mm -hmm. Five. Five. Uh, not exactly five, but you're very close. Four. <laughs> Four. I think you're the winner. It's three. <laughs> Uh, okay, so <laughs> this, 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 this was a presentation uh, by uh, Wojta Dostal uh, focused on uh, Wikidata. Uh, it, uh, it was delivered in 2018. Uh, the, the conference usually takes place in the National Archives, so this is a program from the National Archives. Uh, Jakub Polter followed uh, two years later uh, and spoke about, uh, spoke about memory institutions in the Wikimedia world. And uh, Eva, Bele, uh, Eva Bele had her presentation last year. Uh, it was, it was uh, uh, the online conference. Uh, so, also uh, uh, there are there are some some other contributions not from uh, Wikimedia Czech Republic, uh, but uh, from our library uh, that uh, are focused on uh, on uh, Wikidata, Big Data, and our collaboration. One of them was mine back in 2018. Uh, uh, the second one uh, was a year later uh, when uh, Stanley Barton talked about uh, authority data and our collaboration uh, with uh, Wikidata. And uh, uh, Petra Chesna uh, prepared uh, uh, her presentation for last year's conference uh, focusing on, on, on authority data again. Uh, Lenka in her presentation uh, mentioned Abart, which I think most of you, uh, especially uh, those of you uh, pro from abroad, uh, do not know what Abart is. It's an information system focusing on arts, so it's also also a system that is that is linked to uh, to uh, data. Uh, Last year we also had a similar presentation uh, like that, like that we uh, gave here uh, today focusing on opening data in the National Library. Uh, also others uh, spoke about open data. Uh, there are also two contributions from the Ministry of Interior, which I have mentioned is the body that is responsible for, for the open data agenda in the Czech Republic. So, uh, it is a conference that provides uh, ample opportunities for networking and for getting to know each other from uh, for people from various uh, uh, institutions. Most of them are uh, from the Czech Republic, but occasionally uh, there are some speakers uh, speakers from abroad. Uh, it is a great opportunity to share uh, what one has learned along the way uh, doing doing some projects and uh, you, can, you can learn, learn from, from others. It is especially important, as you, you have heard today, that uh, libraries, museums, archives, we all, we all work with data, but we use different data structures, etc. And it's a, it can be very challenging to, to, to collaborate. So uh, it's, 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 it's really important to, to meet and to uh, talk about things and uh, try, to, uh, try to find uh, a common ground which, in my view, can can be something like Wikidata because it, it, it is really a structure uh, that I think uh, every every institution can can embrace. Uh, so <laughs> I think that as Wikidata is has, has turned uh, ten or will turn uh, ten next month, it is uh, the right time to say Happy Birthday, Wikidata. <laughs> <laughs> Short uh, video and send it to Wikidata to put it in, in the free.
three minute video they will be preparing to, to celebrate uh, this anniversary, you can do so uh, while we, while we uh, network and you can, you can use this slide if you, if you like. Okay? So, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for, for your uh, attention. Uh, I, I'm sorry that uh, we are a bit uh, <coughs> behind the, our schedule, but uh, uh, you know uh, it, is, it is always uh, interesting to, to hear, uh, hear uh, things uh, during, uh, during the discussion. Uh, and my colleague just uh, just chose that she has finally brought the presents for those who have won. So please distribute them. This one of them. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I think you're the second one, and who's the first one? Uh, uh, okay, yeah. over there in the back. It's me, but it's <laughs> not like. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you very much. Uh, there are some great refreshments uh, in the corridor, so please enjoy. And I think as we are, we are really, really behind the schedule, uh, we, we will skip the uh, introducing or uh, introduction phase uh, because I thought that Czech librarians don't know many of you, but, but some of you have, have spoken during the discussion, so maybe you have some idea about uh, who is who. Eh? <laughs> also, you have, you have the name badges, so you can, you can find your way. So please enjoy and thank you for coming today. Thank you.